This is the recipe journal I made with Eileen Hull's new dye. So this is a dye I've used. It's card case. It's called card case. And this is the card case recipe journal that I've made. And you can see here I've made little tabs so you can put your recipes in there. I also have some journaling cards there. Um, so there's all different ones so you can write your recipes. I've made um, little clip clip pads there and this can go in there like that and then you just clip clip that on and that stops your things from falling out if you're carrying your book about. Um, the the envelopes, which are here, let's move this out of the way. The envelopes, which I've made here and here, oops, um, I used the journaling card and envelope again by Eileen Hull. Um, the paper pack that I used, I um, got it from a magazine years ago. Happiness is homemade. Uh, it's been really ideal. And then there's a, f I had this card I've had for years, and then the paper that I've lined the inside with. That was again. It was papers from a magazine from card making magazine from years ago. Um, we have stickers here, and I've used the corner die to make these be pockets for the stickers and therefore the the jam etc whatever you're going to make so all in all i'm really happy with how this has turned out and the closure oops it's a bit awkward doing it with one hand right the closure we've used the two buttons there i'm really happy with how this turned out these little clipboards here were made with the gift card folder and label. So that's what I used um, and they turned out really well. I'm really happy with them. Um, so there's a little sheet of paper there for the clipboard. Um, so I didn't um, glue it all the way down on both sides. So one side I put the paper and here you'll see the other side, it just goes on like that. You just give it a little bit of pressure and it holds it there. This is a die that's included. And I've made these little recipe cards. So you can put your recipes different recipes on there the recipes so they're basically double sided so I trimmed the papers down so yeah you can put your recipes there and you can also use these cards to take a photo of your recipe and put it on there and then have the the ingredients on there so that's the that's for first area here um, the pack I was using has little stickers so I haven't put them on this area over here now I've used the tabs here so that you can put different recipes in different in the different areas and you can either write it down or use a sticker um, I used the, the clipboard die, it's a small clipboard die. Um, cut out some paper so you can write your recipes, even write a shopping list to take with you. Um, I just glued it at the top and at the tab bit and then a little bit there so that you can add the paper on either side. So yeah, so I'm quite happy with how this one turned out. Um, the closure 
I use butcher's twine and uh, I'll go in close here. I've had these beads for a long time. Um, this one here is shrink plastic. I had made these a while ago from a free stamp set from a magazine. So yeah, so that just fitted in quite nicely. Um, so I used a, a pack with that was themed for recipes. Um, and these, these I got them out of either Aldi or Lidl a few years ago. Um, different shapes and sizes. And then if pan over here, um, in this other corner pocket, um, got them. I also used the, also used the backs basically. Um, it's pan back. So I've got envelopes here. So I've used the new die with envelopes. Um, I used magnet here for these. So this is the Sizzlitz dies that I used by Sizzix. It's Wear Room and Cook. I managed to get this die, I think it was about four or five pound from Amazon. There's a seller on there that actually had them in stock a few months ago. So it's worth having a look and seeing if they've still got them. Because if you're making a recipe book, um, for, they're definitely, they, they work out as really good belly bands to put around. Um, but yeah, you can put anything in, in them. So I was inspired by the design team. Um, the belly bands, I thought I could use these dies. So yeah, so just pull this up and that forms the belly band to keep that closed. Um, so I was quite happy with how they turned out. Um, this section here, right, I'll show you this because this is quite important to get the book closed and not be too bulky. Um, you'll see there, I'll pan back so you can see, see how the height of the magnet is there and then on the other one it's further down. If you put the two magnet sections together, it makes the book too thick to close. So that's how I purposely just staggered them down a bit. Um, now on the spine here, I don't know if you can see it, um, I didn't overlap them fully. Um, I Let's see if I can get in. Yeah, you can see it. So I just, when I was joining the spine together, I just moved one of them over and that gave me enough room to put the envelopes in. Um, Right, so these envelopes, again, use Dialing Hull's envelope dies. Um, and these all have little greeting cards in them, all different ones. Um, be able to see all the designs. But yeah, I made a few of them and they just fit in there. So all in all, I'm super happy with how it turned out. Really, really happy. That's and there. Um, here I made my own kind of topper. The paper pack that I was using had the little tiny little tiny stickers and little tiny toppers. So I just um is it the same size or slightly bigger? Yeah, it's just slightly bigger than that. So yeah, so I cut that out myself. And then I found it quite important um, because the the die makes rounded corners. I use my hole punch, and that just finishes it off. It just finishes it off nicely. I used the journal journaling card and envelope and window to create these following little cards. Um, I folded over. And card so it was just cut it just a little bit bigger than you did. I folded it over and I butted this edge up here with the, the edge of the die to create these little note like cards and then the actual paper I just cut it slightly smaller um, a couple millimeters basically around the edge and I also I used a corner punch for the holes. So I'll just go through these. Um, this die is ideal 
for little note lit cards and see if you've got little tiny toppers like that left over in your card packs they're ideal um this oval here is also in this die pack as well um here are the envelopes here and it makes really really nice envelopes it makes really nice envelopes and hold on a second um i also use the die the envelope die to make these and you can see how the closure looks closed there i used a needle threader rather than using an actual needle and i found this went through quite easily and made the process a lot easier and i was very happy with how it looks definitely